welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and this is a place where I love to share with you how simple it can be to eat a whole food, plant based lifestyle. I know there's a lot of noise out there, and it can be hard to cut through it sometimes to figure out what exactly it is that you need to do in order to get healthy or lose weight or both because that's where I was coming from. And I can say that I have personally lost over 75 pounds and so has my husband after switching to a whole food plant-based lifestyle. We both did this in less than a year and it has been one of the best decisions that we have ever made in our life. And I want that for you too, if that's what you're looking for. I love to share tips, tricks, recipes, and all kinds of information about living a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can always get notified every time that I upload new fresh content. And on that note, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So today's video is about my top four Weapons of fat destruction on the Start Solutions Maximum Weight Loss. So these are going to be the four things that I feel like I have to have each week in my life in order to be successful on the Maximum Weight Loss version of the Start Solution. So if you're wondering what the Start Solution actually is, it is a starch-centric or starch-focused lifestyle where you eat starches, complex carbohydrates, for the main part of your meal, such as potatoes, beans, legumes, grains. And then you add in other non-starchy vegetables to round out your plate. This was developed by Dr. John McDougall, and it is the regular starch solution. It also eliminates animal products such as meat and dairy, and it minimizes or eliminates the use of oils in your diet as well. Now that's not to say that you don't eat fat at all because you can eat whole food plant fats like avocados um, and nuts and seeds, but you just don't add the oil to your diet because it is not technically a whole food. It is a very processed and fractionated part of what is actually a food. And it is about 4,000 calories per pound, which puts it as the highest calorically dense substance on the planet that we consume. I want to highlight the main differences between the starch solution and the maximum weight loss program. So like I said, the maximum weight loss is a modified version of the starch solution. And in the starch solution, you can have all of the whole grains and you can even have breads and some cereals as long as they're whole grain. And in the maximum weight loss, you drop all of the breads. You can also have nuts and avocado and seeds in the regular starch solution. And the amount of starch that you eat in the regular starch solution can be around 70%. And in the maximum weight loss, it is just 50% starches and then 50% non-starchy vegetables and you drop nuts and seeds as well. Both of them, the regular and the maximum weight loss, do not use oils. I will link the books below, the Start Solution and Dr. McDougall's program for maximum weight loss. I recommend both of them. Both are fantastic. Now, let's get on to my four weapons for fat destruction using the maximum weight loss for the Start Solution. So number one for me is potatoes because potatoes have a low calorie density. They're about 350 calories per pound. And yes, I can eat a pound of potatoes. I actually had a pound of potatoes, uh, hash browns this morning for breakfast in my air fryer. So um, I added, I had that and then added a bunch of non-starchy vegetables in with it and it was delicious. But I usually take these and steam them um, in my Instapot or on the stove, whichever, if I'm using my Instapot, I'll put them on the stove. But I'll steam a whole bag of potatoes and put them in the refrigerator. I do like to put them on a plate, uncovered, that way they don't get like all sweaty and yucky and they last for the whole week. And whenever I'm hungry and I need a boost, I can just go in there and grab a potato or two and eat it and they are so satisfying that I don't have to worry about if I'm gonna be hungry. And who doesn't love potatoes? I love them. I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is my number one 
weapon of fat destruction on the starch solutions maximum weight loss so my number two is to have a low calorie density soup and it's so easy to put that together these are just like the veggies that are like hanging out in my refrigerator they didn't get ate this week and they're kind of like on their way out and Diane they've seen better days so I'm gonna take all of these and I'm gonna throw them in my instant pot and I'm going to make a low calorie density soup just using the vegetables and sodium vegetable broth and some uh, canned tomatoes and it will be delicious it also is a um, help for the wallet by using up all of the vegetables that were going to go to waste anyway i'm going to show you what i'm doing with this soup here in a little while but this is my number two so number three is um, different fruits and one thing that I want to point out is that melons are really low in calories they're full of water they're full of fiber they're really good for you they're hydrating and delicious and they satisfy my sweet tooth so this is my number three is to always have fruit but more specifically I like to have some kind of melon like cantaloupe honeydew watermelon there's so many different varieties that before I started doing this I really didn't realize how many different varieties are out there so um, try to cut this up and put this in my refrigerator. I'm gonna show you everything I'm doing to prep for this week. My fourth weapon for fat destruction on maximum weight loss is the acronym ABP, always be prepping. So I always make it a priority to prep my foods each week. It doesn't have to be your entire meal plan, but just prep the things that are a little bit more time consuming. Go ahead and steam your potatoes, you know, cut up some veggies if you have time to do that, or make the soup like I'm making the low calorie density soup and go ahead and cut up the fruit so that all of the difficult parts are gonna be done. You can even steam up some rice and put it in a freezer um, container and just pull out of that whenever you need it. Just do whatever you can to make it easier, especially during the weeknight, whenever you're coming in for dinner, you're starving and you need something quick because it's late or whatever the case may be. It really goes a long way in order to help you succeed in your plan. So you know the old saying that if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And I know it is cliche, but it is cliche for a reason and that's because it is true. So just go ahead and make yourself a priority. It doesn't take a lot of time. Set aside an hour a week and it will save you a lot of time throughout the week. Okay, so let's go ahead and start getting some things prepped so you can see um, what I'm doing. I can show you how easy and simple it can be. So you don't have to have an Instapot in order to steam potatoes. I've done it on the stovetop and just put it in a steamer and you bring the water to boil and let it cook 20 to 25 minutes just like you would in the Instapot. Um, but I just put this in here. It's like a set it and forget it. It's not something I have to really monitor. So you just do whatever works best for you. Um, but I just like to clean them up and put a little bit of water in the bottom, just enough, uh, probably about a half inch or so, um, to make sure that there's enough water in there for the pressure cooking. And then like I cut out any bad spots that I might see on the potato and just put it straight into the bottom of the pot. I used to put it in a steamer basket, but I found for me, it's not really necessary, but you can always put it in a steamer basket if that's something that you wanna do. And then I'm just gonna put it on the steam function or you can put it on manual, either or. Lid on, turn it, make sure that it's sealed. And it is. And then set it and let it cook. And that's it. Okay, so the potatoes are done and I just store them. They're still really hot. I put them on a plate and this is exactly how they go in my refrigerator. This just keeps them from getting like wet and um, yucky in the refrigerator and it just makes it really easy to pick it up, grab it and go. Like I said, still a little bit hot so I'm gonna let these cool off before I put them in there so I just rinsed out my instapot and I'm gonna go ahead and put all the veggies in there get them cut up so let's get that going and we'll get this soup and then we'll be prepped and ready for the week just use what you have on hand I'm gonna put my pot right here and then this came from Trader Joe's it's one of my favorite bags it's cruciferous crunch 
and it's going to go out of date if I don't go ahead and get it used. So I'm just gonna add this right into my soup for the entire bag. It's got kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage just kind of all shred shredded up. So that's gonna be great to put in here for the soup. Super low calorie density. I'm gonna add in a red, half of a red onion. I make these kind of soups like all the time. Um, like this is just my clean out the fridge soup, but it, it, like I said, it uses up all of the veggies and it makes it something super convenient, easy, and delicious. So just put that red onion right in there. And then this is a half of a yellow bell pepper right in there. Same thing with the red bell pepper. All right. This is super colorful already, which I do. I try to eat as many colors as I can. Then I'm just gonna add in two squash. I love to put squash in here because it is so low in calorie density and it is such a great bite in the soup. Okay, and then you can see that these poor sad little bit of celery, I'm gonna chunk in there as well. And I'm just gonna cut these up. I like to put the leaves and all in there. I'm gonna add in a whole head of broccoli, throw that in there as well. A right, purple, orange, and yellow carrot. Okay, so you can see this is a six quart Instapot and it has completely filled this pot up with veggies that were literally just gonna be thrown away. And now I'm gonna have a delicious, nutritious, low calorie density soup for next to nothing. Let me get the vegetable broth, throw that in there, and we're gonna also put in a can or so of diced tomatoes. Just all added um, diced tomatoes. It is 14 and a half ounces. I'm just gonna put this in here and then take the low sodium vegetable broth and fill up this pot to the max fill line. And I filled this back up with water and I'm gonna add that in there until I reach the max fill line. And the vegetable broth was one quart and it looks like I'm probably gonna take another quart of liquid to get to the max fill. Yep, and it's still just a little under, which is fine. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough juice in here to cover my veggies. All right. So I'm also gonna add in some corn after this gets through cooking, but I'm not gonna add it in until, like I said, it's done because I don't want that to, um, to get overcooked, so I'm gonna add that at the end. And then I'm also gonna add in some spices, and today I'm just gonna use some garlic powder and paprika, um, and you can put in whatever you'd like to make it tasty and delicious, but I'm just keeping it simple today. So just sprinkle it in. This is probably putting in about a teaspoon or so of garlic, and you could put fresh garlic in here too, that would be good, but I'm being a little bit lazy, I didn't feel like cutting that up. And then just mix it all up, put it in the Instapot and use the soup function. If you're gonna do this on the stove, I would cook this, bring it to a boil, and then turn it down to a um, simmer and let that cook for about 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour. Just depends on how tender you want the vegetables to be. I'm gonna put this in the Instapot, put it on mine. I go to pressure cook soup, <clears throat> start, and it's gonna cook for 15 minutes. Okay, so the soup is done. It smells so delicious. I've already depressurized the Instant Pot and I have a bowl here and it's just got one little potato uh, cut up probably about this size of some that I just steamed. And then I've got like half a bag of this just Trader Joe's sweet corn and I'm gonna add that to the pot. Look how delicious and yummy that soup is. Tons of veggies in there, corn that all up and I'm gonna put this in right over my bowl of potatoes just to make it a little extra filling and really you could eat this until you couldn't eat it anymore yum I just like to add in a little bit of black pepper to finish it off and of course this is Texas that I'm in so I'm adding in a little bit of hot sauce you can put your favorite toppings on it whatever that might be and enjoy and um, I hope that you like this video if you like what you saw please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always thanks so much for watching have a great day